Qualcomm plus Samsung. Let's talk about it. So oftentimes you may hear that a device is powered by Qualcomm, you know, blank. And when you hear that, does it have any value to you? Like what would come to mind is like a general consumer if someone were to say, Hey, did you know the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845? Like, what does that mean to you other than like a bunch of technical jargon? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thankfully in this video, we're going to break that down a little bit in terms of what it does mean to you as a consumer. When you hear that a device such as the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8. 45 because I know there was a point for me personally where just hearing that kind of sounded cool but I really couldn't speak on you know what it actually meant for me as a consumer and it's from this learning process that I kind of feel like they might be the underdog powering the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So in the new Samsung Galaxy Note 9, there are a few improvements, such as a longer battery, a better camera, and even now the ability to play Fortnite on Android. So a lot of things have gone into making this possible, and one of those things being the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. It can kind of be viewed like the brain of the phone because it controls a lot of different components. So for example, when you look at the battery life on this alone, you have that crazy 4,000 milliamp battery inside of here, which does kind of hold up to what Samsung has been coining as its all-day battery. And that statement alone is partially contributed to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 inside of here because it helps things on the back end such as reducing power consumption across 4K UHD video and VR gameplay, which are two of the larger battery drainers that we as consumers sometimes engage with. And you know that quick charge option that we all love, myself included? Yeah, that's Qualcomm too. <laughs> it's like a common reoccurring theme with this that the Snapdragon 845 mobile platform is designed to be as intelligent as it is powerful. And that new improved camera up here that Samsung has been talking about, yes, that is even linked to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. Because it packs a feature that's designed to deliver a premium camera experience with the option to capture 16 megapixel images at 60 images per second. So burst mode or capturing images on the fly isn't gonna be a problem up here. And trust me, if you do not understand the value of this. Just kind of put yourself in a scenario where you might want to capture a picture quickly, like at a concert, for instance, and your favorite artist is performing. You pull out your camera, you hit this little shutter button to capture the photo, and it slightly pauses and you just miss that moment that just happened. And as you might be able to tell, I'm speaking from experience here. Like there have been moments with other phones that just couldn't keep up, you know, where I go to take a photo and I press the button and it's like it's trying to work so hard to just grab a clear image that by the time it snaps the photo, even though it's just a few seconds later, it's a few seconds that lost me the perfect shot that I could have had. Burst mode or just simply the ability to have the camera immediately snap a photo as soon as you press the shutter is more valuable than we realize until we don't have it, which was the case with that particular phone, but thankfully not the case with the Galaxy Note 9, which by the way, I love the camera on this thing I will be dropping a comparison video putting this up against another phone so stay tuned for that video be sure to hit subscribe so you can get updated when it drops but yeah the camera up here is nothing short of amazing <laughs> and something else that was kind of amazing was my recent you know Fortnite first experience I'll link the video up here somewhere but uh yeah it was amazingly embarrassing rather <laughs> but still amazing nonetheless to behold on a smartphone where it seriously ran smoothly without any glitching or any delays it was like plenty Playing it on an actual console, it was just buttery smooth. And it's tasks like this that could significantly deplete your battery on other phones are literally just stagger along as it can't keep up but tries to keep up as it does on other phones. But I'm happy to say you don't have to worry about it up here on the Note 9 because it has that super brain, so to speak, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. I mean, the Snapdragon 845 processor in here touches on a lot of different areas of the phone. These things that I just mentioned are literally just a few. Because if you dive a little bit deeper, you'll also notice improvements with security and LTE service, which is gonna give you faster speeds, and that's just touching the surface. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of like briefly chat with you all to give you a little bit of insight about what I feel is a great processor inside of a great phone. I mean, it's like the two go hand in hand to kind of showcase the power of the other. So before I get out of here, I definitely wanna issue a big thank you to Qualcomm for not only sponsoring this video, but also for teaching me a little bit more about their technology, equipping me with the knowledge to then share with you all. So now that when you see those little subtle labels that says Qualcomm or 
hear the mention of their name powering a phone, you'll now know a little bit more about what it means for you as a consumer and what you're getting. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, you know, educational video, be sure to hit me with that thumbs up down below and feel free to, you know, educate others and share this video with them as well. But next to me, you'll probably see my face. You can click on that. It's going to instantly subscribe you to my channel so you can continue to get more content from me. And over there is another video as well if you want to check one out right now. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.